welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you guys how i prepared this delicious mouth watering jamaican hot pepper shrimp this is by far my favorite street food when i was living in jamaica now if you didn't yet subscribe please go ahead and do so what i have here guys is my pre-washed shrimp which i just added some olive oil to make the seasoning stick and i'm now adding my powdered seasonings which includes black pepper onion powder garlic powder salt and fish seasoning off camera guys i did go ahead and prepare my fresh seasonings which includes my onion my garlic two scotch bonnet peppers and some thyme just a tip guys you do not have to use two peppers it's optional use the pepper to your tolerance preheating my pot on a medium gauge and I went ahead and I added around three tablespoons of olive oil. I'm now going to be going in first with my onions and I'm going to be stirring it around for about a minute or two. I'm now going in with my garlic and my hot pepper and I'm gonna keep on turning it around. Now it's time for the star of the show, the shrimp guys. Add some butter guys this is gonna give extra flavor to the shrimp keeps turning it around keep on stirring guys now I'm gonna be adding like a cup of hot water in this bowl that I seasoned the shrimp in and I'm gonna be pouring it on the shrimp and guys one of the most important things about this peppered shrimp is that we have to use some food coloring to get it to that pretty vibrant color that you'll be seeing at the end This 
this is so quick and easy guys i wish you all could try out this recipe keep on stirring making sure that all the shrimp is covered with the coloring you can at this time reduce your heat to low and in a little bit we're gonna be covering it and letting it cook for another 10 to 15 minutes you could add a little bit more coloring if you'd like not too much now now you could feel free to use a spoon and scoop all that sauce up and pour it all over your shrimp to let it seep in fantastic look how beautiful it is it's coming along nicely at this time you could taste and see if you want to adjust any seasoning and if you do want to adjust just go ahead and add a little bit more fish seasoning During the 15 minutes, you want to go back, keep checking to make sure it's not sticking or burning and you want to be taking your spoon and scooping up the sauce and placing it all over the shrimp so that it can soak everything in. During the 15 minutes, I did not like the color that it had because it didn't have that vibrant color that I was expecting. So I did go ahead and I added like another tablespoon of the food coloring to the sauce. By the way, guys, this was three pounds of shrimp. So your coloring is going to have to do with the amount of shrimp that you used. Okay now lovelies we have come to the end of this video i thank you all so so much for watching thank you so much for your support and i do hope to see you in my next video and as always i love you guys bye